wanted to share with you some of my dry shampoo products that I've been using and give you my reviews on them. As you know, we're always really busy and sometimes we don't have time to wash our hair every day. I try to make it a point to wash my hair every day because it gets too greasy for me. But there are things you can use such as dry shampoo to take care of the oil on your hair until you get a chance to wash your hair. And Tresemme has recently come out with an affordable line of dry shampoo type of products. And I already wrote a review on these products on my website at abeautyaddict.com so you can check that out there. And so this is the dry shampoo. It's in a bottle like hairspray. It has a nozzle and you just spray it onto your scalp. And then you just kind of like rub it in when you spray it so you can distribute it everywhere. And it's supposed to absorb the excess oil on your hair. So this one was okay. It was kind of sticky for me on my hair after I sprayed it. I didn't really like that. It felt almost a little bit greasier than what it was already. So, I mean, this thing was $5 at Target. You can buy it and just keep it on hand in case you need it for a little quick emergency until you can wash your hair. They also have another product called the Waterless Foam Shampoo. And this one is a liquid. It's in a bottle with the nozzle and you, when you squirt it out, it's a foam. So I'll show you right now. Looks just like that. And then you can just rub it into your hair like that. And it makes your hair kind of wet, obviously, because it's liquid. But just rub it in. And after that, it suggests that you use a towel to just, you know, dry off any of the extra liquid and absorb the oil from your hair. Something else I'd recommend doing is using baby powder if you don't want to go out and buy these products. Baby powder I think is actually a little cheaper. Both of the products I just showed you are $5 each at Target. You can use baby powder and then just do the same thing. Pour it into your palm and then just rub it into the areas where you need it. The only problem with that is for those of you with darker hair like me, you're going to have to make sure you rub it in real well or else it's going to look like dandruff on your hair and we don't want that either. And finally, there are a lot of other dry shampoo type of products and powders available at stores like Sephora which you can go in and test it so you can go in there with your dirty hair and just spray it on and see how well it absorbs the oil and if you like it. I got this is the Fakai All Natural Dry Shampoo and it's a powder. I got this as one of my beauty perks from being a beauty insider at Sephora and basically just this little bottle. It's just like dry, um, baby shampoo and there's powder inside and this little nozzle so you can just kind of just tap this onto the top of your head and let it distribute and then again rub it in to make sure it gets evenly distributed and that will absorb your hair. And another little tip I have is if you don't have baby powder or have any of these dry shampoo products, you can actually just use regular hairspray. Like this, this is from Tresemme and what it is is hairspray has alcohol in it and alcohol will absorb the oil on your scalp and you can also style your hair at the same time so it won't look so flat and dirty. What I do is just spray some on the roots, like that, and then use a rat tail comb brush or a teasing brush, this is a teasing brush, and then just take a section and comb back to give your hair some volume, and so that your hair doesn't become a big clunk with the hairspray that you just sprayed so it kind of distributes the hairspray also but yeah this is just a really good inexpensive way to take care of your second day hair because I'm sure all of you girls have hairspray at home so those are some tips for you check out my website to read some detailed reviews about the Tresemme dry shampoo products thanks for watching bye